again to Nanton Aviation Station, NAS, Season 2, Show 9. Um, we've made some good progress since the last uh, time we got together. We've now disassembled the um, old wing uh, spar and we've managed to save all of the ribs. And we've now mated uh, the ribs, pardon me, all the uh, webbing with the top and bottom cap in our jig and we're getting ready to start to drill all the new holes in the top and bottom cap um, and start bolting everything together. Um, we're taking a lot of time, George and I, to make sure that all of the ribs, pardon me, all of the webs are in the right spots. They have to be exactly in the right spot, otherwise the, the uh, center section won't go together properly. So we're spending a lot of upfront time measuring, um, measuring again, what is that old saying? Uh, me measure measure twice, twice, cut, cut once. once. <laughs> so uh, we're, we're doing a lot of due diligence here to make sure that we've got something that we can use later on. Um, we don't want to start drilling holes in this uh, aluminum and then have it of no value to us later on. So taking a lot of extra care. Um, we've been checking the drawings with what we have, shifting things a little bit here and there. It's a work in progress. We're still shifting things. We're going to, um, and as we start in the middle to bolt things together, we're going to be constantly checking and rechecking to make sure nothing is shifted on us. And uh, that's, it's going to be a lot of work. So, um, anything else to add, George? Uh, what else we got going on here? Well, basically you covered it. Uh, we've, as the viewers can see, we now have stitched the whole front spar together. And, you know, like you said, now it's the crucial point where we have to make sure that everything is exact because we are making a one-off. It's not like a factory piece where they had jigs and everything and tooling so that they could just, you know, start drilling by assembling and clamping everything together. We have to do it differently. We have to start from scratch. Yes, we have the drawings, but we don't have any tooling fixtures or jigs or anything else. So it's very tedious, time consuming. And as Scott said, you know, get it right or go home. On that theme, we've made a drill jig uh, here and it's gonna be used, um, we'll be sliding this jig along from station to station as we drill and uh, we've made this out of an old drill press um, and I think it'll be handy. Originally we were going to do uh, all of the drilling by hand but this will make a steady platform for our uh, drill head and uh, our holes will be uh, nice and, and, and perpendicular and, and, uh, and save us a lot of time and we can do all, all of the holes in one session and then move the board over to the next uh, station and, and carry on in that, in that way. So I think um, it'll save us some time and uh, maybe a bit of uh, uh, sweat and tears as well. So um, that's something we're going to start to use hopefully shortly in the next uh, week Probably or so. within the week, next week. Great. We still have to source some uh, fasteners. So we still have a few things we need to get in that regard. Yeah. Um, and we're looking for some corporate help on that. Uh, hopefully we'll have somebody step up and provide some fasteners. We're looking for some pretty high grade fasteners that can be quite expensive and um, so if we can get uh, some of those costs covered that'd be that'd be spectacular. Like on our next episode I'm going to be mentioning a few names and companies that are going to be giving us a little bit of a hand starting during the middle of the week because I have a lot of riveting to do before we start uh, drilling and bolting and uh, well A we don't have the uh, a lot of the fasteners, so they're going to be supplied by other people. And uh, well, we just want to make sure that they uh, get their, how should I put it, uh, their... Consideration. Yeah, consideration for helping us out. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we should talk about some of these end fittings just for a second. We'll come down here. Yeah. So we've... Um, put these end fittings in place temporarily into the new uh, caps and we found out that we have some extra machining we're going to have to do and that's uh, we'll have to get some friends to help us out with that I hope um, but generally speaking the fittings seem to fit where they're supposed to be fitting 
there is some reconstruction that has to happen for these fittings, but we have a plan and uh, luckily uh, we'll be able to use or reuse a lot of these fittings. If we can't use these, there's going to be a lot of uh, added time and, and aggravation and, um, expense. and expense. So hopefully these aren't as bad as what we kind of thought. I didn't realize, I thought they were, there was a lot more rust involved well, and they're not so bad. because I cleaned them up. Yeah. But I mean, I, you know, there's hardly any rust in here, just on the exterior, yeah. which is great. Exactly. And yeah. then we have, and I'll show you, I'll just take it off. This is when it was at the, um, at the scrapyard, they tried uh, cutting these with uh, torches and everything to get them apart. And they did a real bad job, but I managed to cut through the top to relieve the pressure. And next I'm going to try and press what's left of these uh, locating pins out. Then we can actually reconstruct these by re-welding, making the hole larger and then putting in a interference fit collar and then re-machine or ream whichever way is going to be our easiest to put the pins back together so we're trying to salvage everything that we can exactly well again uh, this is a I think been a really good week we've made some excellent progress to have all of the webbing in place now and starts to make it look like a spar again. And um, we're, we're instead of just taking things apart, we're actually starting to we're build building. things back up again, which is a nice feeling. Yeah, we're it's a building. Good feeling. Yeah, exactly. So uh, we'll sign off now. And uh, thanks for visiting. And always appreciated. And uh, uh, make sure that you go to our Facebook page and make sure you like and follow the Facebook page. And that way you'll get all the updates as we present them, photos, videos, et cetera, et cetera. Thanks so much. Bye for now.